Hey everyone, this is MGamers here. I've had some questions on how to edit the dead zone for the controller mods, and I'm here to show you how to do that today. Uh, I've never actually had to do this before, uh, so I haven't really ever looked it up, and I finally decided to do it today. Uh, some people probably have already figured out how to do it, but if you need a tutorial on how to do it, I'm going to show you here. So, assuming you have the mod already imported into Mod Manager, uh, if you already have it installed, that's fine. Um, you can just install this over the top of it, and it should be okay. So what we want to do is we want to click on the mod in the left, SP controller support. This will also work for both of the MP controller support mods. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to go to mod utils. And before we start, we want to make sure that we're on the original version. So you can do variants or two available variants or however many it shows for you. And then do revert to original version. Uh, if this option is grayed out for you, that means you don't have any variants installed and that's fine. So what we want to do then is we want to go to mod management and do open mods folder and go to our mod. In this instance is going to be SP controller support. Uh, if you have a variance folder here you should delete it now uh, and then you'll apply the variant after we're done modifying stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into test patch and we're going to drag DLC or default DLC test patch bin onto mod manager itself and we're going to press the decompile button on the window that pops up and then we're going to close this window. So we open up this colaset file that was decompiled, and we're going to look inside of bioinput.xml, which is on my other monitor. So as we see here, there's a bunch of values and stuff. There's type 4 values, and type 3 values, and type 2 values. Uh, for the instance of learning, consider type 2 and type 3 in this file the exact same. Never modify type 4 unless you know what you're doing because this will, if you modify the type fours, you will re-enable the PC command, or the keyboard and mouse controls, which will supersede the Xbox controller controls, and you will break it. If you do break it and you have no idea what you're doing, go back to mod utils and do restore mod from me 3 tweaks, and it will restore the mod from my server and delete anything that's unnecessary or changed. So what we wanna do here is we wanna go down to game mode base where the list of commands is on the left and their actual command list is on the right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for those commands. So we have type 2s, which are the ones we want to modify. So we're looking at console look y, x. So we're going to look at these six. Um, the invert the invert ones are when you invert the uh, how the stick works. The values may be different. So what we see here is we have console strafe, and when this command is called, it's going to move along the axis at speed of 1 with a dead zone value of 0.2. The dead zone values are z between 0 and 1, with I believe 0 being absolute precision, so if you even touch the stick at all, it's going to pick up the movement. And 1 being, I believe, full dead, so the stick won't do anything. So uh, these are the default values of 0.2, and the looks, I think on the look it's at 0.1. So say my left stick is kind of not working and actually on one of my controllers it's doing that. I want to increase the dead zone to 0.3. So we're going to edit dead zone equals 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 and I'm going to do it to both of these. And uh, just so you can see this a little bit easier I'm going to space these out. Let's make it a little bit easier. So as you can see here, now we've set the dead zone from 0.2 to 0.3 and the dead zone for the look commands from point, I believe it was 0.1 to 0.3. Um, let me see, is there, I don't think there's any other dead zone values here actually. So this might actually cover all of them. So set the, you're gonna have to change these values as to your liking. So if your left stick is not working right, uh, you're going to want to edit the top three here, strafe and movement. And if your right stick isn't working right, you're going to need to edit the look X and Y values. Uh, you're going to need to experiment this with these to get a value that you want that works. So uh, if it's too dead for you, you're going to have to lower it. If it's too responsive and it's causing it to automatically turn or something, you're going to need to increase it. And if neither of those work for you, you're probably just going to need to buy a new controller because that's a hardware problem that you won't be able to fix in software. So now that we've edited this, we're going to save the file, Control-S. I can close it now. 
Now there's this default DLC text patch.xml file here. I'm going to click and drag and put that into Mod Manager. I'm going to pick the center option, compile cola set. And now I'm going to copy this file up one folder and replace the original. It's perfectly fine to leave this folder here. You can delete it if you want. If you need to recreate it, just drag this file onto Mod Manager again, decompile it. And that's how you edit, insert your keybinds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to restore my stuff because I have a multiplayer mod installed. And I'm going to go to SP controller support and I'm going to hit apply. Uh, if you if you have like a variant installed, like you don't like the vibration being on, uh, you should apply that now. Uh, can disable aim assist in this game. That's crazy talk. All right, and then we'll hit install. Uh, multiplayer is gone because multi if you enter the multiplayer menu with single player controller support mod, uh, you immediately get stuck. Diddly squat shepherd, huh? Interesting. Oh, this is from my multiplayer character. That's interesting. This was the shepherd I had when I multi. Er, interesting. I had no idea that actually worked. I died before this thing even landed. Alright, so I'm going to turn the AI off. So I'm here moving. You can't see this, but I have my left stick. And I can definitely feel more dead zone because I actually have to move the stick farther. Yeah, in fact, actually, on, my, on this controller, I don't like this setup. But for some users, that's how it's going to have to be. I have to move the right stick much farther now to actually get it to respawn. Um, the left stick's about the same for me but I have a pretty accurate controller and point one isn't much of a difference. So that's how you edit your key bindings. Uh, if there's ever an update to mod manager mods, it's gonna overwrite these changes and you're gonna have to re-implement them because I'm not gonna ask you to manually merge my edits into yours. But single player controller support mods pretty much finished at this point so I don't anticipate us having to fix many more things with it. So that's how you edit controller key bindings. If you guys like modding Mass Effect 3, you might want to check out ME3Tweaks Mod Maker at ME3Tweaks.com slash Mod Maker. It features an online interface where you can edit multiplayer mods really easily with point and click and full descriptions of just about everything, as well as a large selection of mixins and dynamic mixins, which allow you to edit values on the fly. Have a good one, guys.